great Jack, master of trickery, finally has had the tables turned on him. Upon reaching the tablet of the heart of the mountain, Jack bitterly discovers that he is too late. The clever, cold heart of wizard, humanity's champion, now possesses a powerful amulet and is one step closer to usurping the devil's rule over the world and breaking the curse. But there is still hope for our heroine heroes. Jack's epic duel with the wizard's indentured spirit catches the attention of a magical sword who vows to teach him greater mastery of the deadly arts. Determined to close the gap between himself and the enemy, Jack and his companions rush from the mountain and follow the wizard's trail of magic into the wilderness. Welcome back to more Pumpkin Jack! Last time we made our way through the haunted mines to find the amulet that humanity's champion is trying to use to dispel the curse that the devil put on the world. We couldn't get the amulet as the champion sent a spirit after us to slow us down and while we were fighting the spirit in said mines, we learned that he swept the amulet while we were a little distracted. But all is not lost, we got ourselves a nifty new weapon, this talking sword that has a bit of an attitude which Jack likes. And I decided to go a little bit more western as we head through this spooky swamp and make our way to wherever the champion is. Now the sword is actually a pretty unique take on a sword type weapon where basically you don't really swing it, it is more seen as how this is a magical item, you use magic to float around which unfortunately doesn't mean that you can go into water because you will die if you, uh, well, go into deep water. But you can also use the sword to basically do like a, a sweeping attack at, from pure magic, which is actually a really cool take on it. Also, it has probably what I would consider to be the, the best like uh, drop down attack where you do this and you just send like a, a whole bunch of phantom swords out to take care of any enemies right below you. Oops, sorry, Al. I like the little sound that these guys make. They're just going like, yeah. All right, so as we're heading through the swamp, uh, I'm not going to lie. When I thought that the mines were a level that I had a lot of trouble with when it came to finding crow skulls and the gramophone, no, the swamp was definitely the worst one out of all of them. I had a pretty decent time finding all the skulls and stuff because some of the later levels are pretty uh, generous with the locations of them, and you saw how generous the mines were when it came to skulls. But the swamp right here, yeah, not gonna lie, it's a very, like, mist-heavy, vertical-type level that you really do need to listen in real hard to find the skull here. Ooh! Well, this is a fine turn of events. Owls and swamps don't mix. Neither do I. Have you... You have ten seconds to explain why I'm here. Well, Jack, have you no faith in your trusty, reliable companion? Eight. Seven. Six. Jack, I am your superior, and you will treat me with respect. Four, three, two. All right, all right, dear Lucifer. You are a rambunctious little twerp. I've been following the magical energy from that portal the wizard cast. That magic led us to on a trail straight to the swamp, and it ends here. Perhaps there's some clues to his destination further in. There. Was that so hard? Oh, shut up. I always like giving Al like a very pompous like attitude or pompous like voice because it really does fit the attitude that he has. Alright, just avoid this. I, I always hate these log swingers just because they always seem like they're a little too big for you to run past it, but you do need to like utilize your dodge roll to get past them. Unless it's something like this, in which case you can just go right around it. Take care of some grass. Thankfully, there's a lot of plants around here that you can destroy for health if you do get hit. It's not really that much of a pain if you get hit by one of those logs, but still. What happened here it was bad. No, you think, Crow? I don't know about you. I think it seems pretty fine here. All right, just want to look back real quick. All right, doesn't look like we missed any skulls, so let's just continue on our merry way. The background ambiance where you can hear, like, bugs and birds and stuff, it really does also throw off if you can't hear a skull or not. Because it, it seems how we're out in nature, you know, it kind of does blend a little bit with the sound that the skulls make. So you really want to be on your toes when it comes to finding these damn things. Looks like you got company. 
I don't know why I was giving him uh, Al's voice for a second, but also I don't think I'm supposed to go that way. I think I'm supposed to go this way. Well, I see the skin taker. I didn't realize he was actually this early into the level. I always figured that he was always like considered like the, the halfway point marker of a level. But nope, I'm wrong. Oh, look, my it's my favorite customer. What are you talking about? I can't stand you. And I don't have any other customers. See our problem here? You're lucky your work is so good. My mother used to say that in the family sweatshop. All right, well, we already got our look for this level, and I wish I could use the gun in my hip, but unfortunately, uh, this gun is only just a set piece. It it's fake. But I feel like Jack would be the kind of asshole who would, who would like go around and just pull that thing out and just go bang, 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 bang at enemies just to scare them a bit. Right. Well, that was a pointless detour, but I guess we get more fun dialogue between Jack and the shopkeeper. Head up over here. Really want to keep my eyes out for those skulls because they are definitely worth looking for because, well, A, they give you some pretty cool, unique outfits for Jack, but also B, you know, just, they're just fun to collect. Speaking of skull, I see one up there. I would say definitely the sword is probably my third favorite weapon in the game, just because, well, while, while it is, like, fun to use, and it's got, like, a nice little sweeping attack to it, it the, the range for it does seem a tad smaller, but I guess it makes sense, seeing as how it's a sword and not a spear from the last level. But, ah, well, say la vie. Let's just continue on our way, grab ourselves a new skull. Get ourselves a nice little drink. And I hear more chirping, and I see another snowman down there. From right, the chirping should be at the top of this tower. Yeah, it looks to be the case. Although, with the narrow path right here, definitely it's going to make getting up here a bit of a pain. But, thankfully, we made it no problem. Uh oh Not going to make it! Not going to make it! The world has been saved two times. Boo. I like how technically it's like, oh hey, Jack's dead. The world has been saved because the devil's mercenary has been filled. Although, what, what do you think that makes the people think of, of the champion then? That he wasn't the one to lay the killing blow on Jack. It was literally just, oh, he slipped and fell off a tower. I see a skull floating on over there, so we need to remember that location for, well, I would say later, but not that much later, like a, a bit sooner. Oh yeah, I forgot, the, this level really likes to use its deadhead enemies as like little like sentries for these little p platforming challenges. Makes sense, because why would they put like a, an archer or a skeleton guards up here when they can just, you know, put these little towers here to, and scatter them all throughout the level. I never noticed that. I thought that was just the music of the, of the area, but no, every time I get help, it plays like a little piano sound. Huh, that's a cool little thing I never noticed. Uh, that's always the beauty of always doing some of these LPs. It's just like, oh, hey, you noticed something on the initial playthrough that you'd never really paid much attention to your first couple of times through this. Well, I see a skull floating out there on those boats. I kind of figured that they would hide one up there on the top of those crates, but nope. Uh, that looks to be the way to go, so let's go grab the boat one first. And then we'll grab the one up in that tower afterwards. Out for a moonlight stroll, I see. Just right, hop up here, grab ourselves our fifth skull. 
Hmm, and it looks like there's someone off in the distance. It looks like it could be the skin taker shopkeeper, but I don't know about that. Wow, first skeletons have ghosts, and now wood have ghosts. What's next? Pebble ghosts? Well, I mean, everything's kind of in a bluish hue right here, so maybe these are ghostly pebbles. And ghost lanterns. Hmm, who are you? Well, 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 a new face. Always a pleasant surprise to meet someone, some new friends around here. Who are you supposed to be? Why, I'm a local merchant. My name is... I haven't asked for your name, and I don't plan on caring. Um, alright. Well then, who are you? My name is Jack. I'm tracking a loathsome little wizard into the swamp. Did you say Jack? As in, THE Jack? That depends. Which Jack do you mean? The Jack who tricked the devil himself not once, not twice, but three times? Huh. Most people leave out the third time. Yes. Old-timer, I am THE Jack. Oh, joyous day! Hooray! She'll be so happy. What are you talking about, you old coot? Oh, oh, nothing, really. I just have something to attend around here. Please, find me again along the way. I believe I can help you. Very well, anything for a fan. Well, Jack may be an agent of the devil and maybe a completely absolute asshole to most people, but at least he has a good heart when it comes to his fans. Okay, I thought for a second that was another skull chirping. It's just like, nope. Oh, and Crow can hit the spawner. I didn't know that. Maybe I was just in the wrong position back in the mines that, that I, he just wouldn't attack the spawner. Hmm. I don't see any crow skulls around here. I thought I heard one earlier, but that was just more ambiance. Am I only the one who doesn't trust that guy? What are you talking about? He's an adoring fan. Why, what would you not have to trust him about? Did you see that face? That looked like a very trustworthy face. Definitely the go-to attack for the sword here is definitely the, the dive attack, just because it, it covers such a wide area. It can basically take out multiple enemies at once. Ooh, I am actually getting pretty messed up here. Skeleton goes, they fall to pieces easily, but there's so many of them. Well, then they fall to pieces as well. Hmm. All right, then. Guess we go this way. Oh, wait, nope, hold on. I see that skull back there. Don't think you escaped my sight game. There we go. Who's shooting at me? I think it might have been one of those guys? Or... No, that's not an archer. Huh. Oh, well. Oh. It's you. I think the gimmick with the, with these little like red souls is basically, oh hey, uh, they're slower, but they you know are more plentiful as a comp compared to the green ones. I always thought the red ones uh, shot projectiles at you, but I might be thinking of a different type of spirit. There, there's our next skull sitting right up there for us, begging to be collected. And so, and so I shall. Now, oh, great. More narrow passageways. Come on, I got a magic sword that's giving me the power to levitate. Can I just float on over all this swamp water? Oh boy, nope, keep that overhead. Ah, 
projectile attacks are always so annoying. There we go. Get an A for effort, but your form is atrocious. Well, I'm sorry. I was never good with swords. I was more of a master of the spear, to be honest. Looks like we've gotten everything up to this point. Let's knock this down and head on over this way. Ah, our adoring fan is up ahead. Ah, Jack, there you are. I'm so glad we meet again. I want to tell you about my wife. I don't care much about you. Why would I care about your wife? She idolizes you for centuries. She's your biggest fan. Do go on. We've been married for 343 years, but she always adored your tales. We spent many nights discussing your feats of malice and trickery. She's a powerful witch, and I'm out up here collecting ingredients for her greatest concoction. A witch, hmm? I could use her. This wizard is powerful and smart. I need her information. I'm sure she'll love to help, but I need to get her ingredients first. If you can help me find mushrooms, she, the mushrooms she needs, I'll take you to her. Why must I pick your errands? Why can't you, uh, you just tell me where she is? Only my hearse can take you to her. Find the mushrooms and you can ride them. Stupid plot contrivances. Fine. I'll find your stupid mushrooms. Much obliged. I'll stay right here and wait for your return. I hear that chirping. And way off in the far distance is our mushroom. Mushrooms are the best. I got into them as a chick and never gave them up. Well, we need to get an intervention with you, Crow, then. And I think Jack might need an intervention as well. yippee ki -yay! Get along, little doggy. Hey, I'm the cowboy here, Crow. Only I'm allowed to say that. All right, I think it's in the next area is where the skull was. I'm not hearing any chirping. I don't see any red glows aside from the lanterns. Uh oh. Bro, what did I say about being a cowboy? That's my job. Curse my OCD-ness to grab skulls. All right. Let's back over here real quick. And I guess we're gonna have to do this all over again. Which isn't too bad. It, this is actually a really fast-paced part of the game. Also, it's kind of fun just to bounce around. I am honestly surprised I was able to avoid all those flames. Up on down here, and we have reached the location of the mushroom. Uh, let's have ourselves a nice drink, and before we go over there, just want to check and make sure we didn't miss any skulls. Doesn't look to be the case, so I guess let's go see what we have to do to get up to that mushroom.
Jazz wings. There we go. A little bit of a musical mushrooms. They really did like their musical bits in this game, not gonna lie. And, yep. and there is our mushroom. Just perfect, Jack. Bring it back to me now. Wait, if you can make a portal to... Hmm. Hmm. You got some explaining to do, buddy. Ah, this is superb. Haven't seen a mushroom this well grown in decades. Thank you, Jack. Truly, your legend doesn't live up to your glory. Yes, yes, I know I'm amazing. Now, make with the horse. Oh, certainly. He knows the way. Well, just hop on and right away. All right, if you say so. Let's do this. All right, basically, same as the minecart. Jump, use crow to break obstacles. Although this one's a little more off the rails, pun somewhat intended, because while the horse is a ghost horse and doesn't really have any land to go through, it kind of goes wherever he wants to. As you can see, it, while it does sort of follow a path, at the same time, it, it doesn't. So you can kind of get a little tripped up as to where your the horse is going to be taking you. Although, not gonna lie, it is kind of fun to just dance with a horse to the beat of the music as you gallop along through the swamp. Yep. And we should be coming up on the end of the this segment. Things once we pass through this thought, uh, this fog right here. Yep, there it is. Which way? Which way? Which way? Which way? Left. And now we have entered the swamp's green zone. Granted, it's a swamp, so every zone is green, but still. A lot more statues right here, so you want to be very careful and not get swarmed by their shots. Also, I feel like I did miss something back here. I want to go back and check real quick, just to be on the safe side. Because we've been doing pretty good in terms of finding crow skulls up to this point. And I kind of want to keep that uh, track record going. Alright, guess there's no skulls over here. Hmm. Kind of figured that the devs would like hide one like right back in that corner over there because you, you wouldn't really pay attention to it until you're like, oh wait, no, they would definitely hide one there. Yep, and now we got both dead heads, skeletons, and bats. And I'm about to die. I probably should start cutting the grass a bit. Got ourselves our next crow skull, and also the pathway has now gr literally grown before our eyes. Alright, up here is, I believe, was skull number 13? Yeah, 13.
hear more chirping. I see more ghost lights. I still haven't seen the gramophone yet, though. But I think it's a little further ahead in the swamp before we can find that thing. Yep. Skull number 14. And, of course, another narrow wee pathway. I always found this one to be the most unnerving out of all of them, just because you, you, you see, like, the, 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 I guess, the roots of the trees down there, and just like, oh, God, if they really wanted to mess with people playing this, they should have had, like, some sort of, like, creature swimming down around there, maybe, like, a swarm of piranhas or something, because, you know, swamps and stuff, that's usually the case when it comes to water hazards in swamps. Well, look who it is. Jack, there you are, my friend. Take it easy, fanboy. What do you want now? Well, you remember that mushroom you found me? It's perfect. Don't get me wrong. It's just not enough. Ten, nine, eight. Now, wait a second, oh great Jack. I just need one more mushroom, then I'll show you straight to my wife. You can even use my horse again. What do you say, Jack? Can you help out a fool who's just trying to be a husband to the love of his life his he deserves? <sighs> Fine, but this is the last one. Don't think I won't cut you apart. Alright. Oh, right, I remember this one. So, you think that, oh, hey, the mushroom's are over there, so you need to run your way over here to get to it. But unfortunately, you're always too slow to get over here. So what you need to do is you need to activate the mushrooms right here. Bounce across here. Because now you've got a little shortcut. Activate the mushroom here. Bounce back here before that one goes away. And then bounce your way up here. With just barely enough time to spare. Okay, no, it doesn't look like they're... Oh, right, I think this is the way to the gramophone. So, activate the mushrooms. Got a bit of a bounce to go to get to the gramophone. And yep, there it is, sitting right on top of that tree. Ooh, just barely enough time. It was alright, but not as good as the last levels, to be honest. Alright, so far... Oh, rats! that skull. Skull number 15. We better start packing on the skulls because we're, I feel like we're getting really close to the end of the level here. Oh, right. I remember what I had to do here. I don't think I can... Oh, I can reset it. Okay, cool. So, this, 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 Uh-oh. Nope. Back it up! Back it up! This one was always a little awkward, but I think just need to set it in motion to go this way. You gotta be really fast on this one. Time to take some more shrooms. Uh oh. Ooh. Uh oh. Well, I made it. Somehow. Wasn't the way I was supposed to do it, but I'll take it nonetheless. And I don't think that there's a skull up there, so we should be good. Uh. 
That's better. Okay, now that's a lantern. I thought that actually was a skull floating up there. We'd be like, ah, damn it. Nothing over here, so let's just pop our head off and do a little bit more musical mushrooms. I feel like this this little mini game right here was very Donkey Kong 64 inspired because I feel like there was a mini game like that in there, maybe like in uh, the mushroom level. This one? Yep, there we go. I almost got, I almost went for the blue one again. Gotta say, for fungi, it's very orchestral. And speaking of fungi, there's our next mushroom. And I want to check and make sure I don't miss any skulls, but we should be good. This one is perfect. Good. Jack, bring it back to me. Off I go again. I really do feel like it. Yeah, we're still missing like four skulls, and I think we're at the very end of the game. Or very end of the game, very end of the level. Aha! Another marvelous uh, mycelium. Brilliant, Jack. All right. Are we done with your sh little shopping list now? Yes, certainly. The horse is yours. Take him as far as he'll go and keep going after. I guess you don't get a lot of company over here if that's how you give people directions. Oh, I guess there is still more. All right, then. Off we go. If it's anything like the mineshaft, it does follow the rule of three, so three of the little vehicle segments and two of the little uh, disembodiment segments. I mean, technically speaking, the first level didn't really follow that rule, but yeah, semantics. Granted, you could also uh, argue that oh, the first level was just a tutorial level, and then that, uh, the way that things go throughout this, this is how things sort of uh, go forward in the game. It was just getting you used to something like that, like set piece uh, moments like during the barn escape, and then also the disembodiment segments when I had to get into the barn itself. I always really enjoyed the music for these segments too. I don't think there's ever been one that I truly hate, or even at the very least dislike. They're all really good. Hmm, more snowmen. Get out of here. You're still out of season. There we go. Besides, I wanted your health. I didn't need it, but I wanted it. I see you hiding back there. There we go. Alright, there's a skull floating up there. And just to be... Okay, no, I don't hear any chirping. I don't see anything up there. Okay. Always good to check, at least. There we go. Skull number 17. And I feel like for this last couple of set of like segments here in the swamp, it's mainly going to be very combat heavy. Kind of wish you could also dodge roll when you're in the middle of a jump. That would make combat a lot more fluid. But oh well, uh -oh. just barely getting out of there with my health. happened here um everything fell apart i don't know crow i'm not the one who caused it this time Ooh, this boat is worse where you this boat is worse for wear whatever human made this must be long dead 
alone dead and it wasn't my doing, I feel very insulted. After all, I'm the one who's supposed to be raining chaos in here. Oh, I thought I heard chirping, but no, that's just ambiance from the level itself. should have come across that last skull by now. Hmm. Ah, you must be Jack. How do you know my name, you overrated gondolier? Word travels fast around here. I've been paid in advance to take you to the witch, but I still accept tips. First, flying horses, and now penny-grubbing ferrymen. What's next? Complain all you want, but I'm your only way to where you're headed. All right, fine. I could use a rest. A nice calm boat ride sounds pretty good to me. Who says anything about calm? I don't like the sound of that. But whatever. Let's take a ride. All aboard. Ah, you know, this is actually quite lovely. You know, just sit back, relax, take in the sights, enjoy the ride. Good, because here comes the fun part. Uh-oh. Uh, what do you mean by fun part? <laughs> Time to jump ship! Uh-oh! We got company uh, on the starboard bow. Unfortunately, it's not man into cannons, but this will have to do for now. I mean, I got a crow, so I guess that will have to do. Ooh. Ooh. I always hit that part of the, the ride. It's a magic boat. What did you expect? I, I don't know, a calm ride? Wait for him to pass through there, jump on back into the boat. And of course, we got a crossbowman up ahead. Again? Ooh. Up oh, here they come. Fire the crow. If I remember right, I think there was a skull during this segment. It's like you had to be fast to get it, though. See you again soon. Enough. Still no chirping. I mean, I hear crickets chirping, but not birds chirping. Not gonna lie, uh, this segment over here always kind of remind me of like a more extreme version of that that weird out-of-place fairy ride that you take in the Shadow Temple in Ocarina of Time. <laughs> Here we are. And don't think I didn't notice you skipped on the tip. I thought you were evil, not a jerk. Well, I can't be both? All this for some witch. Her information better be worth all the fuss. What is it now, bird? It's this forest. I can't describe it, but it's strange. I sense a witch's magic. She's not too far from here. But watch your step, Jack. Something tells me this forest is dangerous if you don't know the, the way. If you're not careful, one wrong step could be the end of you. So you can tell me all that, but you can't tell me how to get through here safely? 
It's called a plot contrivance. Don't dwaddle on it. Just get going. I wish I could help you, but this time you're on your own. Every time I'm on my, on my own, Crow, you never... Or, Crow, uh, Ow, you never help me. What happens when crows eat your trail of breadcrumbs? The crows become the breadcrumbs. Crow, this is the last time I ever listen to any advice you give me. I need no sticking crows. The trick to this is to take the path that doesn't have crows. Anyone got a map? No. If we had a map, we wouldn't be in this situation right now, Crow. Let's see. Crow's this way, Crow's that way, but the Crow's down here are a bit further away, so I think this is the safe path to take. A lot of crows everywhere. Should I ask for directions? I mean, you are a crow. You could literally, these crows seem like they've been here for a while, so that you could literally just ask them, hey, which way do we go to the witch's house? Alright. Not that way, so we go this way. Hmm, this is harder than I thought. Not really. Let's see, that way is a no-go, that way is a no-go, so this way is the way we do go. I'm still keeping an eye and ear out for that crow skull, but I don't see it or hear it anywhere. Hmm? Hello? Aha, there it is. I'm sorry, I'll work on my form better. Well, hey, look, it's our number one fan. What do you have to say? Not much further, Jack. She can hardly wait to meet you. Oh, uh, okay, yes, I do go this way. That way is death, but this way is the right way. Ah, that must be the, the witch. Oh, ho, ho, Jack, Jack, the great Jack is back. I'm such a big fan. Ooh, look at me, I'm starstruck. Finally, someone who appreciates my hard-forged legacy. I've been told you might have some information about someone I need to find. You mean the wizard? The human's champion? Of course, word travels fast, you know. So I've been told. So, where can you, what can you tell me? Hmm, perhaps you'd like to know his name. His name? Yes, tell me. Oh yes, Jack, anything for a legend like you. Now listen closely, the wizard's name is... Yoink! Yoink? 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 What kind of name is Yoink? No, no, no! You're not saying it like right. It's more like Yoink! Yoink! Ah, uh, what the hell are you doing? 
I'm sorry to trick you, Jack, but after all, it is one of yours. My own employees used against me. Well played, you harpy. Don't forget my part in all this, Jack. Shush, hun. You're sounding really desperate. Put me back right now. I'm afraid I can't do that, Jack. I'm cooking up something magical, and you were just what I need to put it all together. We should go, dear, before we miss our time. Right. Away, away. This is horrible. What, what the heck are we going to do now? We're going to get Jack back before they hollow out his noggin. Even more. But, but how? You know how Jack can hop in and out of his body? Y yes. Well, hop in. I think I need to throw up first. Better head off now. Ta-ta. This pumpkin is perfect. It's the last ingredient I need. All aboard. I'm on my way, Jack. Woo. Avoid the smells. You know, for an all-powerful witch, she has some pretty lame spells to use against me. Uh oh Left! Uh oh Now, I kind of wish that for this final segment, you actually would see, like, Crow just sticking his head out of Jack's body. Instead of just flying next to him and guiding him. Really funny just to see Jack's giant body by the tiny little crow head sticking out of it. Uh oh. Not gonna lie, the fast paced nature of this one, the fact that you're not actually supposed to follow where the carriage is going, but I think that when it like splits off at those segments, you need to go the opposite direction, uh, can get a little hectic and crazy. Especially with all the spells going off right next to your head. Well, right next to your body, I should say, not near your head because my head is literally being flown away from me right now. Ooh. Ooh. Ah ha ha ha! Finally, we have guests to come visit. And all it took was a simple act of kidnapping. Get back that pumpkin now. Whatever wicked spell you're working on will stop it. A spell? What spell? Well, well, the spell, you know, the mushrooms, the cauldron, the possessed pumpkin. Oh, you stupid bird, this isn't a spell. It's our dinner. Your dinner? Of course, we're vegans. This is magic mushroom stew. But why eat me? This is hardly cruelty free. Well, no, but pumpkins are a real superfood, especially possessed ones. Do you know how hard it is to get your, your souls, in a, souls in a vegan diet? You don't count. Ugh, you're both insane. You may be a coward, but I'm taking Jack back. You do want to stay for dinner? Well then, you'll make a fine centerpiece for our spread. Don't scuff up my body, bird. I just got that thing. Eep! Alright, thankfully they heal you before we jump into this fight. More like it shampoo to go for the eyes. Alright, so not those not the little alchemist bottles back into the eyes. And basically take out the segments. Honestly, this is kind of an easy boss fight. The Guardian was a lot harder of a fight than this was. Oops. Have a drink on the house. Give us a smile, Jack. There we go. Kill the tree is eco crime. Well, then it seems that it's time for me to get to the root of the problem. Alright. Now, we gotta keep moving. Also, watch out for the husband, because now he's gonna periodically pop up to attack us. Also, avoid the red uh, bottles, because those are... Uh, ones that'll break upon impact. Oops. Alright, there we go. 
Ooh, two for one. Nice. Alright, any time now. There we go. That one was a little off target. There we go. Another two for one special. There we go. And now for the final one, both the platforms and the vines are now rotating. Also, I think the witch now throws the, the potion bottles a little bit faster, so you need to be a little more cautious when you, you need to knock out the ice. Like, ooh, another one for two for one special. And there goes another one. And there we go. Now's our chance. Take them down. There we go. One witch done for, and one annoying husband done for. Rest in peace, or not. Hold on, Jack. I'll get you back in this weird body of yours. This is so freaky. There we go. Now, as we've taken out a pair of witches and, you know, a potion brewing husband, what do you think the weapon do you we would be getting it would be? You think maybe, oh, hey, maybe like some alchemy bottles to throw like grenades? Maybe like uh, the whip that the husband was using to attack us with? How about a gun instead? <laughs> Talk about explosive magic.